Yes guys, in today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create this sick trippy effect within Premiere Pro. Let's get into it. So guys, before we jump into the video, if you wanna pick up these effects, you can go over to my website and you can pick them up. There's loads of different presets in there and they're already made for you so you don't have to spend ages making these effects you can just simply just drag and drop and save loads of time but without further ado let's get into the video so what we're going to do is we're going to come up and we're going to hit new item and adjustment layer and then drag that onto our timeline like so then we're going to come up to effects and we're going to type in turbulent displace and then we're going to drag that onto the adjustment layer now as you can see instantly it's already created an effect for us but this, if we just play this back, as you can see, this is not really what we're looking for. So we need to animate this, come to the start of the clip where we want our effect to start. So we kind of want the effect to come in round about here. So let's just make some keyframes on everything and then let's reset the amount to zero. So it's got no effect on it at all. And then let's scroll to where we want the effect to finish. I would say round about here, we want the effect to, to finish. So then we're gonna go and create some keyframes again. So now we're just gonna adjust the amount of tool at this place we want and the offset of it. So just play around with these. It can be really difficult sometimes to get the positioning right of it. grab our keyframes and drag them quite early on. So once we've made some keyframes in the middle, we're then gonna reset them at the end. We're gonna reset them all and then hit our amount to zero again. And then we're gonna drag these over a bit more. So there we go, I think that looks pretty good. I think we're pretty much there. Yeah, so I think I'm happy with that. So once we've got our keyframes all lined up, what we can do now is we can just select all our keyframes, come down to this and then ease in. And then we can drop down this. If we make this tab a little bit bigger, you should be able to see we've got some lines and stuff. So we're just gonna adjust these by pulling down so we can smooth out the transition a bit easier. And this just basically gives us more control over the keyframes and it's a bit easier to use. That looks pretty good. And then we're gonna go down to the same on size. And then we're gonna smooth these out again. What I also like to do is I like to copy the effects. You can come over to the effects controls and then just command C to duplicate the effect. So this is just gonna add even more to it. When you're doing this guys, you really wanna make sure that you create a keyframe in the middle. So you want to start it off as normal, then create it quite trippy, and then you want it to fade back out into the normal footage. So there's no really right or wrong way how to create this like trippy effect. It really does depend on the footage. Like if I did this effect, exact effect on a different piece of footage, it might not look as good and you might need to, you know, change some values around. But that's kind of the main gist. You want to start off normal, fade into the more trippy bits and then fade out. So just remember you can come into your keyframes and you can adjust them and have more control over them to smoothen the effect out a lot more. Don't forget I've got a preset pack on my website with all these effects in there so you can just simply drag and drop them. You don't have to spend ages just trying to get that perfect effect. You can just drag it on. So I'm gonna show you some of the presets now just so you can check them out before you buy them. And we're gonna drag our adjustment layer back onto our footage, type in liquid and as you can see there's loads of liquid effect presets in here and we're just gonna bring anyone on at random and as you can see it creates that effect straight away you know even if we want to like cut the effect here and then hide this so it kind of like trips out more so maybe if we get another part of the music video and play it here and then it trips down there's loads of different ways you can create these effects and use them in unique ways. So let's just grab another one, grab our another adjustment layer, come over to effects again. So we just drag this one on, and as you can see, 
it's created that weird kind of trippy effect that we're looking for. So guys, there's a load of different liquid effects in this pack. Don't forget to check it out. I hope you did enjoy the video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And please comment below if you do think these effects are cool. These are one of my favorites to use in kind of like trippy style music videos. You're not going to use them all the time, but they're good for when you need them. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one, guys.